1972, miners unknowingly discovered an ancient anomaly in the radioactive material mined at Oklo in Gabon, Africa. Samples of this material were sent to physicist Francis Perrin, who upon investigation, realized the uranium ore sample he'd received contained a slightly lower percentage of uranium-235 than normal. Further investigation into this discrepancy revealed other radioactive isotopes present, specifically products of fission that could only be generated from a nuclear reaction. What was most interesting about the Oklo site is that the uranium ore collected from the mine was nearly 2 billion years old. In 1956, a nuclear scientist by the name of Paul Kuroda postulated that natural nuclear reactors might exist on Earth under certain conditions. Little did he know that just 16 years later after his prediction, the first natural fission reactor would be located. The site at Gabon acted similarly to a light water reactor and produced around 100 kilowatts of thermal energy, comparable to running around 20 to 30 air conditioning units. The natural reactor remained active for several hundred thousand years and is still the only site known to have produced natural fission. Today, most of the natural reactor has been mined away, though efforts in the late 90s were made to partially preserve what remains.